This is the Glen Grant 1965, and it's at 48.3%. Yeah, so it's a single cask, yep. bottled at cask strength, under our private collection range. From Glen Grant, yep. which was one of our grandfather's one favorite of, distilleries. One of them, yeah. Back when this was made, what was fascinating was this was pre any modifications, so it was coal fired. Yeah, so direct fire stills. I mean, do you think the direct fire stills would have actually impacted the flavour? I just think it would have brought a little bit more weight we maybe have seen post 73. But this whiskey is um, obviously 54 years old in a refill sherry hogshead. So the colour is a little bit lighter than other whiskies of the same age profile. But the colour is beautiful. It's a really good proper gold and it's glowing and shining brightly. There's a little bit of a lemon edge, yeah. but a little bit of lemon notes. There's a freshness. Is it? It's a bit, bit it's menthol. It's it almost touched eucalyptus, rather. Yeah, I can go with that. It's a very lovely weight of whiskey. Yeah. It's very mellow, very easy. You know, my first thought on the nose was, hey, I'm going to need to put water in this. But you don't really need water on the palate for it. Mm. There's definitely a lot more sherry than what's coming through the palate. Yeah. Lovely texture, nice weight to it. There's something quite interesting. This is a bit like my old orchestra analogy. There's not a soloist in this. There's not one thing standing up. This is quite a lot of fairly subtle flavors going on. There's a little bit of those slightly more tropical fruits. It's almost a touch of summer strawberry. It's got a bit of cream white chocolate behind there as well. Yeah, let's get, I'm gonna try this with some water. It's a little bit more chard oak coming through now. The longer you hold it in your mouth, the more you get of that the oak you talk about. But the front half of the palate is lovely, delicate notes. The finish now coming through, there's a lovely sweetness. The finish is just going on. It doesn't leave you that quickly at all, but you do get that more kind of fruity, vanilla kind of finish coming through. Yeah. Glen Grant, 1965, 54 years old, bottled under our private collection. 54 year old? Nah, you wouldn't believe it. What a lovely, lovely dram. It's stunning. Well, Slange, Slange.